your majesties, your royal highnesses, laureates, ladies and gentlemen. Det är en stor ära att få presentera Nobelpristagaren i fysik. It is a great honor to introduce the Nobel laureate in physics, Professor Emeritus Rainer Weiss. Your Majesty, Your Royal Highnesses, Excellences, dear, the dear laureates and ladies and gentlemen, all three of us, Barry, Kip, and I, represent about 1,000 scientists, engineers, technicians, students, and administrators who together made LIGO's gravitational wave discoveries being celebrated here tonight. We also celebrate Ronald Drever, who died recently and dedicated most of his professional life to LIGO. He's represented here by his brother Ian and his niece Anne. We are also enormously indebted to the National Science Foundation of the United States and the American public for steady support over close to 50 years. What was done is measured directly with exquisitely sensitive instruments, gravitational waves predicted about 100 years ago by Albert Einstein. These waves are a new way to study the universe and are expected to have a significant impact on astronomy and astrophysics in the years ahead. The waves travel with the velocity of light and slightly squeeze and stretch space transverse to the direction of their motion. The first waves we measured came from the collisions of two black holes, each about 30 times the mass of our sun. Since then, we've measured four more events, the most recent not only with the LIGO instruments, but also with Virgo, a French-Italian detector, which has helped in localizing the events on the sky. All the black holes events occurred at around a billion years ago. Last August, we measured the waves from the collision of a pair of neutron stars. These are stars with the mass of the sun, but about the size of big city, enormously dense objects. That event was seen by many other astronomical instruments and demonstrated the promise of multi-messenger astronomy and astrophysics. Now, for reasons probably related to the popular vision of Albert Einstein and also the threat posed by black holes in comic books and science fiction, our gravitational wave discoveries have had an amazing public impact. Shortly after our initial announcements, I saw this advertisement in the New York City subway. It's on the side of the car. Scientists found gravitational waves in outer space. If only it were that easy to find an apartment in New York City <laughs> with a walk-in closet, okay? That same week, a cartoon ran in the New Yorker magazine showing two birds sitting on a tree branch. One looks to the other asking, was that you I heard just now, or was it two black holes colliding? <laughs> so we've made an impact. Thank you. <laughs> 